My name is Vernie Howard. I'm the executive director at the Providence House, and I thought it was really important for us to share with you the community what's happening behind the red door at Providence House during this very tumultuous time in our country. Um, we none of us ever thought in a million years that we would see this day, and um, it's here. And we have taken extraordinary uh, measures to make sure that the families of 40 that we are, uh, that we give care to every single day are safe. 40 families, that's equivalent to 130 people. And of those 130 people, um, 86 are children. And so our job is insurmountable um, some days, but we do it every single day. And fortunately, we have surrounded ourselves with great friends within this community. Those of you who support us, we thank you so much for that and we need your continued support. We have excellent board members who have helped us to kind of get positioned well ahead of the, the president's message and the governor's message. And they challenged me and said, hey, what are we gonna do for our families if this thing gets worse? So fortunately, uh, we were prepared before the, if it gets worse. But we wanted to share with you what really happens in the house, what really happens every single day. Um, specifically, uh, we have young girls, a 17 year old who's about to deliver her first baby. We have one mother with seven children. So try that, seven children in one single room. We still have to provide food and clothing and shelter and educational support. Um, many of you are aware, but I think it, it's, it's worth repeating that many of our parents uh, haven't earned a high school diploma and they've been sent home, which is Providence House, and parents are now charged with their education um, since our schools are closed. And so what we are doing is, what, what I'm doing at home and what you are all doing at home, we are stepping up to the plate. Um, Jennifer Douglas is our uh, retired school teacher and she is over, she's our director of education and she will be hosting classes for our children 10 at a time. But we absolutely refuse to let a virus inhibit our children from being all that they can be. Our parents have been in quarantine and in isolation and I got so much pushback for that, but now they realize that when we started our process, there were less than 100 people that tested positive. Today, we have over 2,300 people that are positive and now our residents are saying, Ms. Verney, we get it. We check the temperature of everybody who walks in our door, whether it's a staff member or a resident. We shut down volunteerism and we shut down uh, donations. Um, we made sure that we took care of our staff. And so our staff, we were trying to flatten that curve at the direction of our president and our governor and our mayor. And so for two weeks, those non-essential employees have been home with their families so, because we wanted to make sure that we limited the exposure to the virus. We take it very seriously. We take our work seriously, but we've done that for 32 years. And so we need your support like never before. Uh, don't forget while you are in, in your homes and you can go out and play in the yard and um, decide what you're gonna eat for lunch and for dinner and for breakfast and crafts, we are providing that to 40 families. And so while so many people are off work, we wanna be a resource to this community. So for those agencies that find themselves short on food or pampers or uh, anything that we can help with, we wanna be good citizens during this time, but we are good citizens always. Reach out to us, let us know how we can be a part. We thank you for, for recognizing the good that this agency has done for 32 years. We encourage you to continue to support us, um, support our parents, support our children, Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for 32 amazing years and the work continues.